Hello everyone! I am so excited to be back and filming. I mean, I missed you. I missed you. So we were gone for about two weeks for 4th of July and we were in like LA area. We were in San Diego. We were kind of all over the place in Southern California. So that is why I did not have a video go up this past Saturday. There was just no way. We were so busy. We were gone for about two weeks. Yeah, it was crazy. And I'm glad to be back home. Because that's a long time to be gone with a baby. So today is going to be part one of my three, possibly four part series uh, pertaining to makeup and beauty for beginners. So, <clears throat> skincare. I know you're so excited to talk about skincare. Um, no, I, I know. It's, it's kind of the boring stuff. You kind of want to get to the makeup, right? That's not what we're going to be doing right now. The reason is because your makeup is only going to look as good as its real foundation, which is your skin. Now, that's not to offend anyone who is having problems with their skin, if you have very acne prone skin, if you have a lot of discoloration, whatever you got going on. Just, you want to take care of it, right? You can't exchange your skin for another skin. That sounds really gross. That sounds really weird. But you can't do it. You only have one skin. <laughs> so, we need to take care of our skin, right? And that starts with having a basic skincare regimen. So you need a basic, just everyday face wash, and then you need to have a basic moisturizer, okay? You are gonna notice a difference. Even if it's not super expensive skincare, what's great about this is the skincare we're gonna be talking about, these are things that you can find at a Walmart or Target, possibly even the dollar store. I got you. So let's start with the face wash. Here I have a brand new bottle because we stock up on this. I've actually turned quite a few people onto this and this is the Simple Kind to Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash. No artificial perfume or color, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin and it looks like this. You can get this at Walmart or Target, but I don't know about the dollar store, not too sure. But yeah. It looks like this. I love this face wash. It's just kind of a clear color. It doesn't have a smell. It's gentle, but it's not so gentle that you feel like it's not doing anything. I have tried their micellar water. Didn't like it. Didn't remove anything. I've also tried their moisturizer. Didn't like it. It had SPF in it. SPF breaks me out. So I use this every night, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, and then I will remove my makeup afterward. Okay, so that brings me to my next step. Okay, and I want to be very clear on this. If you wear makeup, if you wear mascara and eyeliner, you need a makeup remover, not baby wipes. Don't even, don't even try to, no. No, I know so many people who use baby wipes or some kind of wipe and it does not remove everything. It really, it, it doesn't. It's not made for that. Mascara and eyeliners have waxes in them that need to be broken down with an actual makeup remover. A baby wipe is not gonna do it, okay? It's gonna dissolve, trust me. You're gonna be surprised once you actually start using a real makeup remover, okay? Next, we're gonna get into the skincare. You need a moisturizer. I have two. At night, I use this Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. I can't tell you how many jars of this I have been through at this point. I've been using it for about three years. It's a rich moisturizer, and I only use it at night. The reason is because you it's not good to wear underneath makeup. Um, so I use it at a time like at night or a day that I'm not going to be wearing makeup. It will make your foundation kind of pill up and rub off if you're trying to put makeup over top of this. So this is definitely something that you need to wear on its own. This is about $24. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know that is kind of a hefty price. But it is not near 
what you will see when you go to places like Sephora or a spa or Ulta, when you go to the high-end skincare. But I think that this is worth every single penny. I have repurchased this so many times. It has gotten rid of my smile lines. I know the price for that seems a little hefty, especially if you're not someone who splurges on yourself like that and you don't really invest in skincare or makeup. You have other things to do and I totally get it. You don't have to go get that, but if you want something anti-aging and you're starting to see some things showing up in your skin, some lines and stuff like that, that one's great. And you can get a little more use out of it if you're only using it at night. When it comes to beauty, the one thing you want to invest in is your skin. I have cheap foundations, I've got cheap brushes, I've got cheap lipsticks and powders and eyeshadows that I'm so happy with because I have taken care of my skin and so those cheaper products end up performing better on my skin, right? Now for the daily moisturizer, I have this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I think this is around $20 and the smell seems a little strong at first. It looks like this. And so it's like when you start to rub it in, it feels like it turns into water almost. It's really, really lightweight. It's great for underneath makeup. It doesn't have any SPF in it, and I would recommend that one. Also, you can check out Olay's Basic Moisturizers. My fiance, he's, you know, he's a guy. He, he doesn't want it to be super fussy. Every once in a while he may use a pore strip, but he does use this face wash every time he showers and washes his face. He uses that face wash and he uses a just basic Olay like squeeze bottle of moisturizer. So what you want to look for is something that is maybe fragrance free. You want to look for things that that say stuff like that because they're gonna be much more gentle on your skin. So face wash, this simple one I think was, I think it's around five bucks. I think, don't quote me on that. I don't have my phone to look up the price. But like I said, these are all things that are pretty affordable. This is around four or five dollars too and I think the Neutrogena one is like eight. So you're saving a few bucks. This is $24 but I'm telling you it has paid for itself time and time again. Thanks for watching guys. This is going to be the end of the video. I know it's not super jam-packed, um, but I've tried to tell you everything that I know and just show you the things that I have on hand right now. Please go check out my channel, check out my Instagram, go follow me, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.